the big established names in aircraft manufacturing have largely stayed out of the advanced air mobility sector so far, with a few of them embarking on the development of new EVITOL models. The most notable exception is Airbus, which is committing increasing resources to bring its City Airbus next-gen vehicle to market in 2025. The project is a keystone in the European Aerospace Group's green aviation agenda. It really sits at the heart of decarbonization of our industry. This is the fundamental reason. Of course, in the end, we have to make it sustainable, and sustainable means also sustainable from an environmental perspective and sustainable from a business perspective. But at the heart, really, is the decarbonization. And what makes it possible now is the really interesting question, because what we're seeing is really an advancement in technology, key techno bricks, we call them. But what does this mean? Electrification, battery, distributed propulsion like you see in our sample aircraft right here. And all of this combined at a maturity level means that we can actually build something that will fly very, very soon. While technology is advancing rapidly, what's available now will limit the performance of early EVITOL aircraft. And that means being pragmatic about their early use cases. So the performance targets that we have set for our first generation of EVTOL aircraft, which we call City Airbus, is something that we consider a starting point. So an operational range of 80 kilometers, a cruise speed of 120, and a passenger capability of four people. So when we're thinking about general passenger transport, and this means for us scheduled services, so a typical would be airport to city center downtown scheduled service. This is really integrated into the mobility services of a given city, of a given community. And here it's about giving choice. We will not imagine that such a vehicle will ever replace mass transport. This is just simply unrealistic. But if it is complementary, if it is given another option, which is again sustainable, fully electric, zero emission, then the average person making their transport choices of the day can choose an eVTOL, can choose a mass transport, can choose other means of transport. Another early purpose for EVITOL aircraft that could have a positive impact on society is to deploy them in emergency medical services to get urgent care to patients in life-threatening situations. Airbus, which already supplies conventional helicopters for this function, has launched a partnership with Norwegian air ambulance operators to work out how EVITOL vehicles can make even more of an impact. We see our EVTOLs as a complementary addition to this service. So a helicopter with incredible capability and versatility for range and payload, paired with an EVTOL, which is delivering shorter missions, different mission profiles, and the combination really makes an impact into saving lives and improving the rescue chain. Airbus engineers have spent more than six years assessing technological options for its planned EVTOL product flying earlier technology demonstrators such as the Vahana before settling on the city Airbus architecture. So here you see the wing, you see the distributed propulsion, 100% electric. So this is what the product vision is. And she's now in a prototype phase. First flight is scheduled to be next year. And then we go on to certification and serial production from there on. To lay the groundwork for EVITOL operations to get underway later this decade, Airbus is working with multiple partners in potential early adopter locations around the world. In Italy for us, we're working with ETA Airways. They're our airline partner. We believe that the business an airline can generate with such a technology is something quite unique. We also work with Hirata in Japan. Here, it's a very different ecosystem, tackling the Asian market, making sure that we're also developing the regulations there. And then coming back to Bavaria, which is in our backyard, here it's actually not about the vehicle, but in fact about the entire ecosystem. Ground infrastructure, first con ops, first flights, first unmanned traffic management, because we're also building our first UTM services as well. So really testing a, an MVP, a minimum viable product, of what a working service will be. And here's how we learn, here's how we mature. The first flight is always exciting and we're excited about it as well. But for us, it's the long-term view. Airbus's plans for urban air mobility are being bolstered by expertise from across the group, including its helicopter, fixed wing commercial aircraft, and even defense and space divisions. Other related ambitions include hydrogen powered airliners carrying 200 or so people by the mid 2030s under its Zero E project.